1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 1 now as touching things offered unto idols we know somebody shout we know we know that we all have knowledge knowledge perfect up but charity edify verse 4 as concerning therefore the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols we know oh glory say i know that an idol is nothing in the world and that there is none other god but one we know better we don't affirm what they are saying because we know that there are no idols we don't affirm it we know better we know even though to them there are idols even though to them those are idols and they're even sacrificing but we know that those things don't exist look at verse 7 of first corinthians 8 how be it there is not in every man that knowledge for some with conscience of the idol unto this hour eat it as a thing offered unto idol so the idol only exists in their conscience the idol is not that tree it's not the shrine the idol is beyond the tree and the shrine the idol only exists in their conscience but that tree and shrine there's nothing there the idol is in their conscience for some with conscience of the idol unto this hour eat it as a thing offered unto an idol and their conscience their what conscience being weak where is the weakness in their conscience so because their conscience is weak what is the effect they are defiled why are they defiled because there is an idol no but because there is an idol where in their conscience so the idol only exists in their conscience there are people today if they want to pray even after we have taught them the word of god they still say heavenly father both the sins i have committed and the ones i have not committed so what is their problem their problem is they have a persisting notion what is that persisting notion sin and there are some people when they start prayer with all that we have taught them they will still start by every demon every evil spirit every flying object you demonic forces i bind you even when you give them food they bind demons from food you give them water to drink you water spirit mommy water or bind out of this water so what their problem is is that there is a persisting notion in their conscience the demon the mami water is in their conscience the evil spirit is in their conscience there's a persisting notion it's like a lady who says i dream and in the dream you know every time i'm about to get married something will stop the marriage and even in the physical it is happening all that stopping of marriage is a persisting notion in the conscience of that girl and until we get that persisting notion out she may never get married why because there's an idol in her conscience defiling her body there's an idol something is existing a persisting notion so the bondage the captivity is in their mind it's a persisting notion there's a consciousness of demons he is saying that these folks are Christians. They are born again, but they have a consciousness. A consciousness of an idol. The word conscious also taken from a knowledge you acquire. That is why churches where every time they teach on different demons, incubus, succubus, semiramis, ashterot, you know, all those... I don't know where they imported those things from and then they teach them 
different classes of demons demons in cloud three cloud six cloud nine 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 they are doing a disservice because they are building in those people a persisting notion that even when they see the word of god they may not believe the word of god because that idol in their consciousness is more real than the written word of God. It's a disservice. The captivity is in their mind. As a man thinketh, so is he. So you will see that demons are at work when you see destruction and sickness. When a man of God say, I cursed him and he became sick. I cursed him and he lost his job. That's not God. When Satan is in operation, destruction, disaster, and evil happens. So when anyone is ill or sick on the account of what you say, you are not talking in the light. You are not walking in the light. Our father does not destroy. Our father does not curse. Our father does not do evil. So what you simply did was to walk with demons. For a thought to come to your mind, that someone should be harmed. Curse him. Let him die. Let him lose his wife. Let them lose their child. Let disaster befall him. Curse him. He will never graduate. Curse him. He will marry and not enjoy it. Curse him. For that thought to enter someone, he is listening to demons. For anybody to think like that, he has given his thoughts, his mind to demons. And what did Jesus do? He rebuked his disciples like he would rebuke demons. Stop that! You know not what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man didn't come to make people lose their job. The Son of Man didn't come to make people lose their wives, their children, or to make people blind or paralyzed. He didn't come to make people barren. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Why? For God.